Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic here today with a review of the quality control of the SC552 from Harley Benton. So we're going to start off with the uh, overall finish. Let's see. It's looking really beautiful. Okay. It's looking really beautiful. Oh my. It is fantastic looking. No scratches, no dents. Beautiful. Doesn't smell weird. All right. It looks good, but now how does it feel? Let's feel it. Careful, careful. Nice. Mm-hmm. You know, fingers can tell you more than I can sometimes. Just talking about the finish here. All right. So around the binding, I'm feeling what may be orange peel around here. Let me take a closer look. Hmm, there's a little roughness over here, around the edge here. And it comes around pretty much a good, maybe seven inches worth of roughness. Then it picks up again over here a bit, for about four inches worth. A little bit over here which I will show you. Mm -hmm. So roughness of binding. All right, aside from that, the f as of the finish, it feels terrific. Now, so I've heard that they say this has a maple top as well as a veneer. So what I like to do is see the center line of the veneer and see if it matches up nicely with the center. Let me see now. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. If it is off only by like maybe a couple of millimeters, which is a fine for a guitar at this price okay now I'd like to talk to you about the veneer pattern of the they call this the maple flaming maple now with Harley Benton you buy the sight unseen right v versus here uh, over here I have a uh, PRS SE 245 which I happen to have bought from uh, John Mann's guitar and they have pictures of the individual guitar so you get to see it if you like it or not over here you don't get to see the pattern you just have to you know, hope for the best and sometimes it looks like somebody's butt crack you know it just looks like somebody's butt crack and I, I, I just I can't I will not buy a guitar if I know it got that butt crack looking butt cheek looking you know what I mean? And it got a little bit of that hair, a little bit of butt cheek. Not a big fan. I prefer it to be straight across, you know? But, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna send this back to Toma just for that. All right, so the next thing I'll check out, and, uh, hmm, let's see how well the controls have been assembled. I turn it all the way to the end and see if it's stiff. See if it needs tightening. No. That's fine. Good and tight. That's fine. Oh. This one needs to be tightened a little bit. So I'll get to that. Okay. I'm looking at the finishing of the hardware. Nothing rough about it. 
Okay. Let's see the foot edges. It does grab in my fingers a little bit, but nothing a little sandpaper is not going to take care of. All right. Now let me take a look at this here. Tuning machines. All right. I don't know what this is about, but the bushings are not fully inserted. That's weird. Bushings. You want to take a look at that. Bushings. Okay. All right. I'm going to check the neck. Hmm. Looks good. Right? Doesn't really look twisted or anything. Alright. Let's see if there's any buzzing of the, uh, the strings for all the frets. I know this is a little slow going, but you know. I'm not making any money off of my YouTube videos. It's just for fun, you know. Slight buzzing here. I don't think that's light buzzing from before will will make it you know into the uh, electronic signal so I might just leave it alone All right. reasonable let me see if it got the nice uh, relief to it it looks okay Looks okay. Alright. So what does concern me here is what's up with these tuning machines and the uh, the bushings are sticking out. I don't think that's really cool. Hmm. Alright. So the big culprit is the E here. So let's let's uh, unloosen this up and take a look. Okay, nice and loose. Oh my. I wonder what's up. Look at this, it just goes up and down. I wonder if it's the same with this over here. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of loose. Yes, it has not been assembled very well. Hmm. So, all right. All in all, not, not bad at all. But it looks like the conclusion is you buy this, this should work well for you. 
but you're gonna have to change the uh, tuning machines to something like maybe some uh, Grovers, which I actually have installed on uh, one of these over here. And it has the kind that has a little nut that you kind of turn and the threads and then it squeezes in tight instead of something that's just pressed in like this, which actually is like uh, pretty disappointing. Oh well. So I guess that's it for my SC552 quality control review. I mean, uh, it's pretty great and wonderful thing. All right. So now I'll just do a whole bunch of close-ups, very, uh, very close-up, as you can see all the close-up details. And then uh, thanks for watching the video. All right. Have a good day.